Caitlin Tuohy's 2023 season is quickly unfolding as one of the greatest that we have ever seen in the NCAA. At just 20 years of age, Tuohy is still one of the younger athletes to be competing in any international field. However, the times that she is achieving are competitive against pretty much anyone. In just two races in her 2022 and 2023 season, Tui has already made a claim to be quite possibly the best all-around female distance runner to ever compete in the collegiate ranks. On January 28th, she broke the indoor NCAA record in the mile with a time of 4.24.26, breaking the previous mark by over a second and a half. On February 11th, she then broke another NCAA record, this time in the women's 3,000, achieving a time of 8 minutes, 35.20 seconds, this time improving on the past collegiate mark by more than 6 entire seconds. These two massive collegiate records have already showcased Tui's remarkable range when it comes to middle distance and distance running disciplines. However, for her most recent competition in this year's ACC Indoor Championships, Tui once again did something extremely special. Now, for Tui's first event in this competition, she achieved a fantastic final split for her NC State team in the distance medley relay, clocking the single fastest 1600 meter time in DMR history, running a split time of 4 minutes 23.36 seconds. Now, this race was incredible, and it certainly deserves a huge amount of attention. In fact, we've already made a full video in this remarkable 1600, so if you'd like to take a closer look at this remarkable record, I'll leave a link up in the top-hand corner right now. However, it was the race that she ran just one day after this distance medley relay that really stole the show. Now, for this event, Tui actually got a standing ovation from the crowd over the final lap. Her lead was so huge, her effort up front was so captivating, and her continuous assault on the position as the greatest collegiate female distance runner ever was only growing with this huge performance. So what exactly did Tui do that made everyone in the building stand to their feet and cheer on such a generational talent over the final 400 meters? Well, let's just say she ran historically fast for these final five laps. Just before hitting the 2 kilometer mark in this 3,000 meter final, Tui decided that it was officially go time as she accelerated forward and finally gapped the field with just 5 laps remaining. Now, sometimes when an athlete makes a move up to the front, their effort is made by a significant change of stride and pace, or perhaps it even comes with a painful grimace on their expression. However, for this smooth acceleration from Caitlin Tui, she looked as relaxed as she has ever looked. Seriously, just watching Tui make this move was but a reminder that she is not even running at her full out tempo when she makes a huge move like this over the field. In fact, it is almost a guarantee that she was not running even at 90% effort here. It really was remarkable. For this nearly flawless push to the front, Tui's gap grew to 10 meters, then it grew up to 20 meters almost instantly, and I really can't remember a previous move like this that looked so easy. And even though this push to the front was very solid, it was what happened over the final kilometer of this race that really made Tui's performance so unforgettable. For her first 200 split after making this move, Tui hit a time of 34.14 seconds, a very fast time for a 200 meter split, and even though this was already a very impressive move to the front, she only got faster and faster all the way to the finish line. For her final 800 meters, Tui achieved 200 meter splits of 33.31 seconds, 33.64 seconds, 32.49, and for her final 200 meters, she ran her fastest split of the race at 32.20 seconds. Now, you'd think that a pace of 32.20 for the final 200 would look like a pretty big effort from the athlete up front. However, for Tui, she still looked smooth, and it honestly looked like she was close to jogging. For this final kilometer, Tui achieved a time of 2 minutes 45.76 seconds, which incredibly is practically the exact same pace for the current indoor 3000 world record set by Genzebe Dababa back in 2014. Now, for Dababa's effort in this 3,000 meters, she set a mark that took down the previous best time by more than 7 entire seconds, a huge world record at the time, and she ran this time with a final kilometer of around 2 minutes and 42 seconds, significantly faster than Caitlin Tui here. 
Now, Dababa's performance is clearly on another level from Caitlin Tui, and perhaps Tui will get there one day. But for now, Dababa's performance still stands as the fastest to ever go down in this event. But as far as a pacing exercise, it's pretty amazing to see Tui run at actual world record tempo for the final kilometer and still look like this. This final stretch was so dominant and so fast that it only makes sense that Tui received a standing ovation from the crowd. And honestly, unless something completely unforeseen happens, I don't think there's any chance that she loses to any other collegiate athlete moving forward in 2023, both for the indoor season and for her outdoor season. The remarkable part about Caitlin Tui's story is that while her 2023 season is quickly becoming one of the greatest ever, her winning streak against any other NCAA runner goes back so much further. Back in December, she ran a 15 minute and 15 second 5,000 meter performance, which is also the fastest time this season in the NCAA. And in this race, she was the fastest collegiate athlete by a few seconds. However, if we go back even further, she went completely undefeated in her 2022 cross country season, culminating with one of the greatest NCAA finals that I can remember, where Caitlin Tui overtook Parker Valby with a very quick final kilometer once again. And then, even before last year's cross-country season, Tui also won the NCAA Finals in the 5,000 meters on June 11th of 2022, again winning over Parker Valby from Florida with a time of 15 minutes, 18.39 seconds. The last time that Tui actually lost against a fellow collegiate runner appears to be in last year's ACC Championships in the 5000, where she placed second to her own teammate, Samantha Bush, who won this race in a time of 15 minutes and 46 seconds, beating Tui by just 4 seconds. There's already a growing case to be made that Tui is, in fact, the most complete collegiate distance runner to ever compete. But the question now is what will the remainder of her 2023 season actually look like? With a performance like this, I really do think that she has more NCAA titles in her very near future. And for her outdoor season, I think it's officially time that she runs under 15 minutes for the 5,000 meters. To this day, no female in collegiate history has ever broken this 15 minute barrier, because it is a very fast time to run even if you're an internationally ranked athlete. But hear me out here. In order to run a 5K in 15 minutes flat, you need to average exactly three minutes per kilometer or run at a pace of four minutes and 49 seconds per mile. But for Tui's final kilometer, she again ran at a pace of two minutes and 45 seconds per kilometer. And again, she looked like this, making running much faster look super, super simple. And even when we extend her final stretch to her final 1600 of this 3000, she ran this time in 4 minutes and 36 seconds, again accelerating pretty much all the way to the finish. Caitlin Tui is indeed a very special athlete unlike any other at the moment. From her dominant wins to her flawless racing executions, she is becoming a very, very special athlete in the collegiate ranks. And at this point in the season, I don't think it's a question as to if she'll break more records, it is only a question of when. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.